So here we have the latest uh, clear ink demo compared with the memory LCD right here. So, um, <laughs> so how are the colors right now? How's it going with your display? Well, there's a lot of progress this year, obviously. Um, we've uh, uh, almost doubled the resolution. We've increased the color gamut by about um, 30%, I, I would say. Um, but very importantly, we brought down the operating voltages to 5 volts instead of the, uh, the 10 volt that we were operating at last year. And that has tremendous benefits in terms of power savings. So, uh, uh, this is right now, uh, this is your latest uh, smartwatch color smartwatch demo. And uh, um, compared with like a memory LCD, it's gonna have uh, better colors, better, like right here you're showing it, the com comparing it. Well, colors are better, that's uh, uh, one thing that you should note, but what is very important in this demo is that the LCD technology is that completely shut off. So if you take a step back, yeah. you can see that under a 45 degree angle, it completely shuts off. So the so viewing, the viewing angle angles are not good. in LCD is not as good. So we have almost a perfect viewing angle. Perfect. It's like uh, looking it's a, at a piece a, of paper? It's a hundred. It's, it's like, like looking a, at this? It's like a piece of paper, yeah. Really? So it's 160 degrees. So even when it's completely tilted, you will see our display. But this is the, the last year's prototype, right? Yeah, So this, but it's a, a characteristic of our technology that you have very good viewing angles, which is important for um, wearable devices, for any mobile device. But uh, uh, last year you were talking about this big project you're working on, the eSchool books in Asia, right? So yeah, so the eSchool books are in trial manufacturing in China um, since a few months now, and they'll be releasing in Q2 of 2019. So uh, is it to uh, per perfect some of the manufacturing challenges there are with well, making a new display technology? There is a big difference between making a lab prototype and making a volume product. And those are the kings that we're ironing out at the moment. And all that is going according to schedule. Uh, but there is work involved, of course. So going down to 5 volt compared to 10 volt, does that double the battery life? or? Um, it uh, greatly reduces the energy consumption. Now the energy consumption was already very good, so you are uh, looking at a 90% reduction compared to LCD technologies. 90% down. So the the smartwatch right now, this is a, a black and white demo uh, to show the, the contrast? Yeah, so the contrast has gone uh, up by almost uh, 100% compared to uh, last year. Uh, last year we used Senate components. This is the first time we show actually backplanes um, that are uh, manufactured uh, backplanes that are manufactured in uh, our factory in China so, so, so these you, what you see is a 202 dpi with subpixel rendering so so right now you have very black and very white is that what it is Yes, very black and very white, and the fact that we can do very white is the reason that we can do color displays as well. Because without the brightness, you can't really make a color uh, display with a, with a color filter. You're not doing any front lights yet? This is all just uh, no, the base lights? No, we have, uh, we have front lights as well. Um, they uh, are truly impressive. Um, we have limited space on the boot. So I was uh, thinking that we will show these later in the meeting room if you're interested. All right, so you have some front light demo. The front light technology is just a similar front light that's being used right now on E-Ink or? No, um, our technology is total internal reflection based. So internal? Total internal reflection based. Um, and it has a, a different uh, uh, type of reflection compared to E-Ink. So we have a customized front light. It's a proprietary technology. How does that make it clearer or nicer? Uh, it's or? almost twice as uh, efficient in terms of the usage of the, the light that you pump into the front light compared to an, an E-Ink display. So it uses very little power. So, um, why are you working in China? Why are you working with Chinese? Is it the political thing right now that's happening where they're they are like requiring every child to have an e-school book very soon? That has to be good for so, the eyes? So, education is a very good market for us because uh, these days uh, they expect color and video as part of the curriculum. So, if you want to digitize an education uh, 
system, you do need the characteristics that are unique to our technology. So it's just a very good product market fit for us. Are you going to be able to? Because uh, the last year's uh, prototype, right? Uh, it was a limited frame rate kind of, or was it like, it was, you were was talking about 33, but are you going to do a full video frame rate? like a so, so we're showing 30 frames per second here, um, but we expect that to go up even further uh, as development uh, proceeds. So this is 30 frame. So it's going to be totally fine for videos, right? Yeah, so we've just actually doubled our uh, electrical engineering group uh, with an office in the Netherlands, uh, which we needed to do to get the speeds up and deliver the final product. So, so we, 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 were, we were a little bit resource constrained yeah. until we started finally closing our C round of funding uh, last year, around the same time. And that enabled you to expand the R&D? R&D. So uh, it's mainly the, just the R&D? Mainly R&D and supply chain and manufacturing. So we have manufacturing people in China, we have R&D in Fremont, California, and in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. And the one in, Eid in, in Netherlands is doing what you say? It's, uh, it's specializing in uh, which part of the R&D? Uh, there is drive waveform development, there's reliability, failure analysis, device architecture. All that is done partially in, in the Netherlands, yeah. Uh, but uh, when people create video content like my videos, let's say on YouTube, right? Um, is it going to look strange on your display because it's like a totally new kind of display? Or it's just going to be fine, just like, that's, that's a video. What, well, what is going to be the we, effect? We, it's we, like watching a video on a piece of paper, right? We, we believe that LCDs look strange because they shine a light into your eye, which is very unnatural. Um, it's going to look as normal as a printed magazine. So it's going to look just like so glossy just like and nice. Paper. Just like paper. This is our target performance. Is there any chance to, that, you, that a display can be both glossy and matte? Or you have to choose? Do you have to choose? Is it going to be mostly matte technology, what you're doing? The glossy and the matte part, I think, comes from the cover glass. So there are different ways to finish our, our displays. Some uh, uh, customers want to optimize it for the writing experience, for example. Others will want to optimize it for the viewing experience. So, so there's m many degrees of freedom that we can work on. So right here you're showing uh, uh, so smartwatch could be a huge market, right? To have a the proper smartwatch dream that people will have a, a watch that just lasts for weeks and weeks on the battery. That's really important. Yes. But uh, you have, I, I guess, you have so some e -book, school books, prototypes, some uh, uh, the front light prototypes and all that. It all depends. You show them sometimes to some certain partners. It's like um, it's a little bit secret, right? What you're doing. You're not showing all the different, uh, the, different things you have. Our, our customer interactions are secret, yes. So the prototypes that we develop for customers, they're typically covered under NDA until they go public. But if you're really curious, you have to uh, come and join us early 2019 and that will show you the final product. So early 2019 is sh start shipping, or, or what do you say? Q1 2019, yes. For the smaller displays, for the wearable application. And uh, the bigger ones? Probably about Q2 2019. Right. Uh, the bigger ones we do need to do a scale up to get the right volumes. We actually have um, uh, partnership agreements in place that require us to produce such a volume that we actually will not be able to manufacture it at the moment. So there is a huge scale up effort uh, needed on our side as well. So um, you were you launched last year at SID Display Week. Yes. And I'm sure some people are going to comment and say, ah, is it delayed? Is it delayed? But actually it's not. It's just that's how displays are done, right? It takes a little time and now you have to scale. You don't want to, you yeah. can't launch like a small quantity. You want to launch big quantity. So that's why 2019. Yes. Um, there is a couple of months delay, I think, which is um, not unexpected in a display a development. Months. Yes. Um, when you go into manufacturing, you find out some challenges that you were not aware of because they simply don't show up in, in a lab environment. So, uh, the, this is normal part and parcel of developing a, a, a new type of display. Uh, are you going to have the first prototype soon? Are you going to be wearing? It's not, there's no need for this big bezel, right? Is this going to be like a small watch? There is no need for a big bezel, that's correct. You're going to be uh, able to have this this, this year, a, right? The first a, prototype. This is a mock-up for the exhibition here. Nice. So cool. in terms of bezel, you can go as small as with any LCD display, right? So the underlying technology is very much uh, similar to an LCD. So what you can do with an LCD display, you can do with our display. There's also 
these uh, these panels are also made in an LCD factory, which is very important to understand from a cost uh, and price point, uh, because it's not a totally different technology. It leverages 50 years of experience. And uh, sometimes there's a little memory or something of a previous thing that it displayed. Or oh, those uh, lines are there. It's just a typical thing of uh, new display prototypes, right? But those lines are um, manufacturing uh, defects. So these components are made in the factory, but they're still assembled by hand in California. So that is something that you will... Um, this is human error. So it's, when, once it's done in 100% uh, clean uh, environments in Asia and stuff like that, this is going to be totally perfect and awesome and flexible? We can do flexible, we've done proof of concept, but for us it's not a priority. Um, everybody talks about flexible, but we haven't found a customer that said that they needed to do flexible. So flexible with us you, you can probably expect about a year later, so we, we know how to do it. It's just that we, uh, for the first product, we don't think we need flexible. Eventually, it'd be great for the kids to not be able to worry and just throw the, the flexible kind of e-school books in the in the bag and or on the floor and it doesn't break and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, um, robustness and flexibility is not the same. Well, you can make a very robust uh, glass backplane device. Uh, you don't have to make it flexible to to have it robust. But both are possible. There's, there's no problem with that. You have to understand that in today's market, the flexible uh, solutions come with a bit of a price uh, penalty. They still cost uh, a bit more money than the glass back plane. Are you going to be in IoT and uh, like uh, smart clothing and stuff yeah, like that? The, the smart clothing um, is something I'd be reluctant to look at at the moment, but we have a lot of demand for IoT. Um, especially the big internet companies, they're all massively getting into um, IoT applications. Smart homes, uh, labeling, all that is merging into one big IoT market. Yeah. And uh, what's the status on BiStable? Uh, is there any chance in 2019 there's going to be some options? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, we have actually decided not to develop our BiStable solution, so we have a proof of concept again, um, but it's not put into engineering. Uh, we really have to uh, prioritize on one or two markets, being a small company. Yeah. So uh, we have delayed flexible and we have delayed uh, by stability. So to focus all our people. Yeah. Wouldn't it be awesome if the smartwatch was like fully animated, and then when it stays, then it stays for like uh, you know instead of seven days battery life, maybe it could be like seven months. If there's a combination uh, of fully animated and by stable somehow. Yeah, we don't know too many customers that want to stare at the display for seven months. Uh, okay. uh, so the value proposition would have to be defined. Um, the problem is if you do that, you typically destroy video. And what oh, you people, can have both. What people are asking us is to do video and color. So our focus in development is focused on video and color. By stability is very important for electronic shelf labels, but that's not a market we focus on. So uh, we, 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 we get compared with e-ink all the time, but we are not to be compared with e-ink. We are a different type of device, a uh, different type of display module, and we focus on different markets. So uh, since the C round, uh, how did you uh, manage to expand? Was it a big, big job to find engineers and and uh, um, like organize the company? Well, they all watch uh, the, the 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 videos that you put on YouTube, and then they apply in droves, right? We have hundreds of resumes after. Oh, yeah. the video. No, uh, kidding. Um, we, we've been very lucky uh, finding people that are inspired by the vision of finally creating a reflective color display. There's a lot of people in the display industry that know that there needs to be a future after LCD and OLED and they come to us so we have a very inspired team, a very loyal team uh, of amazing people from all the leading companies in the world. So It's going to change the world. If you can it, make this work, it's going to be it, it, everywhere. It, it will be everywhere, yes. Um, we actually believe that in 10 years from now, you will be asking yourselves why we had these displays that you could only use indoors, which is quite unnatural if you think about it. It's going to change the way people kind of live, because you can go outside to the work. It will you, work. You can go outside, sit on a terrace in the sunshine, have a drink, and do your work. It's going to be laptop displays, smartphone displays. All that is technically possible, but not something I would dare not to say that uh, I want to focus on because I need short-term focus, right? 
But if some huge company is watching this video and wants to do it, just contact you it's and like you'll be like, hey, okay, maybe let's do it. I'd need some help though. You, you need some? I, I would need some help. The some 45 help. people that I have uh, yeah. is a very hard working team. Um, it's a startup environment, right? So you, you choose achievable goals that generate revenue in the shortest uh, span of time.